What's up, Eric here from LED Grow Lights Depot. I'm reviewing the updated HLG Scorpion R Spec LED Grow Light, now the Scorpion R Spec FR. Full review, par testing, and my final thoughts on this fixture coming up. And watch to the end to find out what HLG observed by adding far red diodes to their grows. It's not what you think. HLG has three lights in the Scorpion series, the Diablo, RSpec FR, and Blackbird. How does the updated Scorpion RSpec FR fixture compare to the updated Scorpion Diablo? First off, the Scorpion RSpec has always had the same build as the Diablo. It is now 8% less powerful, 13% less efficient, but 26% less expensive than the Diablo. Compared to the previous Scorpion RSpec, the new version is 25% more powerful and over 7% more efficient. I'll get into the specific numbers and show you the spectrum on the Scorpion RSpec FR soon. And for brevity, I won't mention the Blackbird in this review. You can find a link to all the Scorpion series lights along with the Diablo and Blackbird review in the description below. Let's talk about the build of the Scorpion RSpec FR. The fixture is 39.5 by 36 by 2.5 inches and it weighs 42 pounds. It can be used in vertical racking, open rooms, or grow tents. The Scorpion RSpec FR uses six evenly spaced, high-powered quantum boards which emit a light distribution similar to bar lights. An Inventronics driver and an external dimmer dimmable to 20% intensity sits on the back of the anodized red aluminum heatsink. The Scorpion RSpec FR draws 700 watts at the wall. 16% more than the previous version. When I measured this Growlight's water draw at the wall at 113 volts, I received a reading of 718 watts with an amperage of 6.3. The Scorpion RSpec FR is rated for 120 volts, 240 volts, and 277 volt applications. The plug is available as a NEMA 515 120 volt, NEMA 615 240 volt, EU, UK, or AU. The total light output of the fixture was independently measured at 1,964 micromoles per second with a high efficacy of 2.81 micromoles per joule. This is similar to the first version of the Scorpion Diablo. Expect up to a 5x5 flowering footprint at about 24 inches or a 7x7 veg footprint at 36 inches at full intensity. You can also veg at 24 inches if you dim the fixture down to 50% or so. Expect a heat output of 2,387 BTUs per hour from this unit. This is 30% less heat than a 1,000 watt HPS. This fixture was designed and assembled by HLG in the US of A, comes with a five-year manufacturer's warranty, is ETL certified, and can be used in both home and commercial grows. The Scorpion RSpec FR Spectrum is made up of the new QB272 RSpec plus IR quantum boards. The boards contain Sol Semiconductor 3030 white diodes, Sol 660 nanometer deep red, and Sol far red diodes. There are not any UV diodes incorporated into the boards, but you can add UVA with the HLG30 UVA bar, which attaches directly to the Scorpion RSpec FR. This spectrum can be used for seedling to harvest growth. We recommend using the dimmer to dim the light down for seedlings, clones, and veg, and then turning up the light intensity for flowering. HLG doesn't have PAR readings of this fixture at this time since it's a new fixture, so here are my PAR readings that I took of the Scorpion r -spec in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow Tent. And the first reading is going to be at 36 inches. In the middle, looks like about 825. Moving to the back, just under 700 PPFD. Corners are looking like they're around 645. And this other side, just over 700. So good uniformity at 36 inches. Um, you could actually flower at this height if you wanted to, um, but I recommend moving it a little bit closer as you'll see here shortly. All right, and next reading at 24 inches. Center reading, just over a thousand PPFD to the back, around 8.30, corners, looks like around 800 or so, and this other side, about 8.60. 
So hitting some pretty good flowering numbers here. I'm just gonna move this meter around, show you the uniformity. Hitting right around 900, 1,000 in most places here. All right. And the next reading, 18 inches. Center reading about 1120. It's back reading about 915. Corners, just about 825. And this other side, about 940. So 18 inches would be my recommended flowering height if you want uniformity and intensity. You could see as I move this around, as I go underneath the quantum boards, uh, the numbers are jumping up a little bit. So any closer than this, you're going to start to lose some uniformity. But overall, you can see the uniformity is good and the intensity is really good. All right, and the final reading is at 12 inches. So center reading here looks good, about 1150 something. But as I move back underneath that quantum board, see how it jumps up to about 1700? That's pretty high might be too high for most people. So you're starting to get hot spots under these quantum boards. So anywhere but underneath the quantum board, you're fine. But right underneath is just going to be a little too high. So 12 inches, too close. 16 inches might be better, but 18 to 24 inches would be my recommendation for a hanging height for this light. All right. Here are my thoughts on the Scorpion RSpec FR. Let's break this down by going over the negatives and positives, starting with the negatives. One, the Scorpion RSpec FR is not HLG's most powerful or efficient fixture, but that's okay. It is second in intensity and efficacy after the Scorpion Diablo. Furthermore, it is a whopping 26% less expensive than the Diablo, so it still ranks high in the charts even though it's not breaking any HLG records. Two. You have the option of ordering the light with a manual dimmer or an RJ cable box, but not both. Some fixtures on the market have a manual dimmer and a receptacle for 0 to 10 volt dimming via an RJ cable. You have to choose one option with this light. If you decide that you want to use the other one later, you can always contact HLG and for a small fee, they'll send you out a dimmer or RJ box that you can retrofit in a few minutes. Three. This is not a bar light. If you're married to the idea of a bar light, this is not your fixture. HLG's six board Scorpion design is better than a bar light in my opinion, which I'll describe shortly. Now the positives. One, good news. HLG has a new line of boards, the QB272 R-Spec Plus IR, which as they state contain far red diodes, something we haven't seen in HLG lights before. The new boards use diodes by Seoul Semiconductor, not Samsung or Osram. These are diodes that have not been used in other HLG lights to my knowledge. HLG told me that by adding far red diodes, they did not see a change in yield and actually saw larger leaves in veg and early flower. One benefit that a plant with larger leaves has is that it's more forgiving to mistakes since the plant has extra resources to expend if needed. The effects of supplemental far red diodes may differ slightly between strains. Two. These new boards have increased the light output and efficacy of the entire fixture. So as I mentioned earlier, it performs how the old Scorpion Diablo performed. The only difference is that the R-Spec plus IR boards have a slightly warmer spectrum than the Diablo boards. To get this light output higher, the fixture draws 700 watts, which is more watts than the typical high-powered HLG fixture that draws 600 to 650 watts. So a little more energy draw, but almost 25% more light output than the old Scorpion R-Spec. While you have to choose between the manual dimmer and RJ box that I mentioned earlier, at least now you have the option of an RJ box so you can control the fixture with a controller. Older versions of HLG lights only had the manual dimmer option. 4. The uniformity is surprisingly good compared to a bar style fixture. The pattern of the boards removes the hot spot out of the middle and spreads the light more evenly throughout the footprint. The downside to this is that you can't get very close to the plants, say closer than about 16 or 18 inches, otherwise you start to lose uniformity and you will get 6 hot spots on your plants. 5. Lastly, as of March 2022, the price of most HLG lights was reduced. This is good news for anyone looking to purchase HLG lighting now or in the future. 
The price of the Scorpion RSpec FR is $899, so no price change even with a higher light output from the Scorpion RSpec to the Scorpion RSpec FR. So if you're looking for a good quality, efficient fixture made in the USA, need to cover up to a 5x5 area with high light intensity, and want to spend under $1,000, then this light is for you. I really like this light and I think you will too. I put a link to the product page for the Scorpion RSpec FR, Scorpion Diablo, and Blackbird in the description. So smash the like button and subscribe to be notified for more videos like this reviewing popular LED grow lights, and check out our other LED grow light reviews on YouTube as well. Follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for giveaways and other great content. Link below. Bye for now.